Data tables let you enter a series of possible values that Excel then plugs into a single formula. Excel supports two types of data tables, a one-variable data table that substitutes a series of possible values for a single input value in a formula, and a two-variable data table that substitutes series of possible values for two input values in a single formula. Both types use the same dialog box that you open by going to the Ribbons Data tab and clicking What If Analysis, Data Table. The Data Table dialog box contains two text boxes, Row Input Cell and Column Input Cell. When creating a one-variable data table, you designate one cell in the worksheet that serves either as the Row Input Cell, if you've entered the series of possible values across columns of a single row, or as the Column Input Cell, if you've entered the series of possible values down the rows of a single column. When creating a two-variable data table, you designate two cells in the worksheet and therefore use both text boxes. One cell serves as the row input cell that substitutes the series of possible values you've entered across columns of a single row. And the other cell serves as the column input cell that substitutes the series of possible values you've entered down the rows of a single column. Let's create a one-variable data table from this sales projection spreadsheet. In this worksheet, the projected sales amount in cell B5 is calculated by adding last year's sales total in cell B2 to the amount that we expect it to grow next year. This is calculated by multiplying last year's total in cell B2 by the growth percentage in cell B3, giving you this formula. The range of cells from B8 to B17 shows the possible growth rates. Start by copying the formula from cell B5 into cell C7 by typing equal to, and then clicking cell B5. The copy of the original formula is now the column heading for the one variable data table. Select the cell range B7 to C17. Make sure the range of the data table includes the formula along with the various growth rates. Now click Data, What If Analysis, Data Table on the ribbon. A dialog box opens. Click the Column Input Cell text box and then click Cell B3. Excel inserts the absolute cell address into the text box. Click OK and the data table is created. Each copy of this formula in the table uses the growth rate percentage in the same row in column B to determine the result. To adjust the formatting of the new data table, first click cell C7. Then on the ribbon's Home tab, click Format Painter in the clipboard group. Now drag through the cell range C8 to C17. Excel copies the accounting number format to the possible outcomes. To create a two-variable data table, you enter two ranges of possible input values for the same formula in the data table dialog box. A range of values for the row input cell across the first row, and a range of values for the column input cell down the first column. You then enter the formula in the cell located at the intersection of this row and column. This version of the projected sales spreadsheet uses two variables to calculate the projected sales for next year. A growth rate as percentage of increase over last year's sales in cell B3, and expenses calculated as a percentage of last year's sales in cell B4. Our formula can still be found in cell B5, but now looks like this. To set up the two-variable data table, a row of possible expenses percentages in the range C7 to F7 is added to a column of possible growth percentages in the range B8 to B17. Next, we copy the formula from cell B5 to cell B7. First, click cell B7. Now, press the Equal To key and click cell B5. Then, select the cell range B7 to F17. 
making sure to include the original formula and all variables. On the ribbon, click Data, What If Analysis, Data Table. Excel opens the Data Table dialog box with the insertion point in the Row Input Cell text box. Click Cell B4 to enter the absolute cell address. Then click the Column Input Cell text box, and then click Cell B3. The absolute cell address is inserted in the text box. Close the Data Table dialog box by clicking OK. Excel fills the blank cells of the data table with a table formula using B4 as the row input cell and B3 as the column input cell. Finally, copy the accounting number formatting from cell B7. On the Home tab, click Format Painter in the clipboard group. Then drag through the cell range C8 to F17. If the width of the cells needs to be adjusted to fit this new formatting, go to the Cells group on the Home tab and open the Format drop-down menu. Click Auto-Fit Column Width.